Hey YouTube, it's Taja with Taja Talks and today I'm doing a video response on dark skinned women and I know this is a sensitive subject for most African American people and it's also a sensitive subject for me because um, I was raised in a household and my mom was affected by the names that she was called um, growing up and um, she said they call her all sorts of names Tar Baby, Hack Bag, Black Snake and all that also told her when you get married make, make sure that you marry someone that's lighter than you because you don't want your kids to come out black like you and um, I'm not as dark as my mother but I am I'm a dark skinned woman and I'm proud of that you know and she also you know she raised us to be proud of yourself embrace your skin color and to love yourself no matter what and also, she brought us black dolls. If they were out of black dolls, which most times they were because they only had a handful in the store, you you had to get something else. Teddy bear, something, but you didn't get a white doll. And she said, if you're going to play with something, you need to play with something that looks like you. And so, I, I mean, back then you didn't understand it. But, you know, I know I used to always ask my friend, why y'all don't have any black dolls? And they're like, why? We like white dolls. And I'm like, well, I like black dolls. But, you know, I didn't really think of it that much until later down the line. I understand why she did it. And um, the words dark and light, black and white, if you look them up in a dictionary, because we did this when we were like in the seventh grade, the words that are, that are associated with being with dark and black are like wicked, dirty, gloomy, and the words associated with being white are like enlightenment, angelic, like clean. So right then and there, you can see the difference, the differences in the words. And um, just basically, we all know that this stems from slavery and all of that. And we just we have to stop all of the dark skin, light skin because we all black at the end of the day african-american whatever and we can't let society tell us that we're wrong because of the way we were born and what we are you know come on i know we we we, come, we came so far and we're going we're progressing but we still we still are faced with this every day and i know it's hard especially if you were brought up being called names and stuff like that and I have two friends, one one is bright and one is dark, and the um, light one, we was in the third grade, she sat in a tub of scalding hot water and burned herself. And when she came back to school and I asked her, I'm like, why did you do that? She said, I was trying to make myself darker. And I was like, you know, no, you can't do that. That's not going to make you darker. It's just going to put you in the hospital like it did but she didn't know that all she knew is that she wanted to be the same color that everybody else was and she knew if she was darker that she wouldn't be picked on and stuff like that and my darker skin friend was called names like nino brown i mean could you imagine people calling you wesley snipes i mean but that's a, a beautiful black man and she was a, she's a beautiful black woman but she did not get that and as much as i used to try to tell a girl don't worry don't worry about that you know you you beautiful you cute just you black you can't do nothing about that you know but she didn't get that and to this day she she's still suffering because of that and i just wish that if someone could have just told those two that you know you can't worry about what people say about you you are who you are the color that you are is the color that you are you can try to change it if you want to but what is it going to do you still going to be black at the end of the day so if you could change your color you're going to still be plagued with some type of problem or some type of issue and um i don't know what, i mean black people age gracefully i mean the darker you are you i mean you you really can't tell how old a black person really is i mean unless they got teeth missing or something like that but other than that you don't know exactly how old a black person really is because we age so gracefully you know so that's a perk for being black so take it also we come in so many different colors i think that is absolutely beautiful I mean, you probably no two black people are probably even the same color. You know, it's so many different colors from, oh, so from light all the way down to that deep, deep, deep dark purple black. That's beautiful to me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why some people don't see as beautiful that rich color of their skin. That's absolutely beautiful, and it's just crazy. And if you see, I mean, society say, oh, it's not good to be this, and you wonder why so many people 
white people tanning. I don't even know what a regular white looking person look like because I haven't seen one in so long. I was at the store and I seen this woman. She was so pale. I'm like, ooh, go get a tan, Casper. Golly. Because it's like they tan and so you really don't know what it is to be like a normal looking white person because their skin i'm not used to seeing pale pasty skin around around because everybody tans you look open up the magazines it's a tan woman no i mean they're not just saying oh you want to be porcelain skin you don't see that advertise you know you don't see that advertising you see bronzer tanning you know and why is that they want to be darker skin because they admire they're not gonna tell you that but they admire our skin tones and try to get as close you know as close as they possibly can to to our skin tones so that's just a rant that I was having and I just wish as a race that we could just get past all that it's bigger issues than darker dark skin, light skin, you know, that we could be dealing with. You can't worry about that. We are who we are, the color that we come in, we are beautiful. Everyone all black people are beautiful to me. That's how I was raised, that's how I see black people. And so we just can't just can't worry about it. So basically that's all I just wanted to say. Cause it was just on my mind when I saw his little post. I said I need to say something about this. So anyway, y'all, this is Taja with Taja Talks. Later, y'all.